And we're back. See? Not so bad. I should probably rest. Heal all my party members. Yeah, so... Renoa's little coma? Yeah, that's gonna last for a long time. She won't be rejoining my party for a while, so that's why I wanted to get her levels up just a bit. Yeah, so from here on out, we're not gonna be focusing on side quests very much. I don't want... to get too high of a level above Renoa. Why can I still go to B1? Yeah, whatever. Oh, I really wanted to challenge Headmaster Sid. Well, he's not around. He's hiding somewhere. Matron is back at that house. Where's our next destination? Are we ready to go? Roger. Alright, well, no Renoa for a while. So I guess we'll put Selfie back in, and we'll also bring Zell. Give him Renoa's junctions. Well, our last FF11 video, the 6 hour one, Gets horribly desynced about an hour in. And then there was also that one, um, Katamori video, too. And I think one of my FF8 videos from a while back. I don't know. But there are a lot of guides saying that you had to, like, turn off hardware acceleration and Chrome settings or whatever. I, tr I tried a few things and nothing was working, but it just seems safest to split the stream into chunks to reduce the overall desynchronization. Um, just skip to like halfway to the video and wait for a point where I'm talking and you don't see my lips moving. You're looking at the last FF11 video, right? Part 3? Or is, is it part 3 or part 4? Might be part 4. Let me go check. Oh yeah, that's another thing. The last FF11 video isn't showing up on my main channel. You have to go into the playlists in order to find it. Wait, deleted video? It's not deleted. I have no idea what's going on with this video. It seems to be really fucking up. Give me a second.
Okay, I'm not going to be able to see the stream for a little bit. I'm currently in the process of highlighting the last FF11 stream. It's a big video, so it's going to take a little while to process. Oh, I don't need to keep that open. Okay, I can go back to the channel. Okay, I'm just I highlighting it so that it doesn't delete itself. So hopefully I can find a way to fix it. Anyway. Yep, so here we are, the ruins of the orphanage. I feel uncomfortable seeing her. There's so much we want to ask the matron. Nothing to do in here. Brought an old issue of Timber Maniacs. I finished reading it. Oh, there's Sid. I'll talk to him in a second. Oh, come on. It's not the most recent Katamori video. It's one of the older ones. No one can draw Kiraga, everyone's full. Many thanks for your hard work. <laughs> Are you angry with me? I don't blame you. All I do is talk big, but in times of trouble I run away. I was in a no-win situation. Your defeat would be the end of you. Your victory would mean losing my wife. I just couldn't bear to face either outcome. I don't care about myself, but please forgive Adia. My children, please forgive me. I raised you as my own, yet still, I... We feel the same way. We fought you even though we knew you were our matron. Matron, you are seeds. You cannot back out of a battle, I know. You are magnificent. However, it is not over yet. At any time, I may... Please listen to what Adia has to say. Who knows when she may be possessed again. Possessed by what? Possessed by who? I can't talk to them. I have been possessed all this time. I was at the mercy of Sorceress Altamisha. Altamisha is a sorceress from the future, a sorceress many generations ahead of our time. Which is why... She... So, right there. That explains everything that Adia has been saying up until now. Like... Everything that she's been saying didn't match up at all with the history of this time period. Because the sorceress that we went to war against was Atel. This sorceress, Adia, just seemed to come out of nowhere. And Adia kept talking as though she had been fighting seeds and other nations for generations. Which, a sorceress many generations ahead of our time. And she knew about Squall in advance, too, calling her, calling him the legendary seed destined to face her. So, she's from the future, so she knows about all of this stuff. She knows it's all going to happen. And while Adia wants to protect alone, Altamisha is after her. So that's, that explains that weird little paradox with her motivations. Altamisha's objective is to find Alone. She is after Alone's mysterious power. I knew Alone very well. 
Artemisia is a very fearful sorceress. Her heart is filled with anger and hate. There was no way I was going to let Artemisia get a hold of alone. The only thing I could do was surrender my soul to Artemisia and lose control of my mind. That was the only way I could save alone. And the end result? Well, you all know. The sorceress that appeared in Galbadia was in fact Artemisia inside my shell. Artemisia has yet to achieve her goal. I believe she may use my body again to carry out her plans. I plan to make a stand this time, but if that does not work, I may have to face you in battle once again. I ask for your support, young seeds. Have you all heard of Sorceress Adel before? Hmm, she's the sorceress who ruled Esther during the time of the Sorceress War. No one knows where she is now. The Galbadians must have thought it was the sorceress who received Sorceress Adel's... Oh, I. The Galbadians must have thought I was the sorceress who received Sorceress Adel's powers. However, that is not the case. I received the powers of the previous sorceress at the age of five. Huh? Meaning? I believe Sorceress Adel is still alive and that Artemisia released my body in order to... to use the body of Sorceress Adel. Sorceress Adel was the type who would not hesitate to use her powers for her own selfish desires. Should Sorceress Artemisia from the future bequeath her anger and hatred unto Adel, their power would be unimaginable. Okay, that's all you had to say. So I'm talking. Okay. Squall, we're leaving already? I've heard enough. I understand that listening to what Matron has to say is important, but Renoa. Matron, do you know what's wrong with Renoa? Renoa is the girl in light blue? I remember vaguely what happened to her. She was with us when we fought you. After the battle, her body was cold. She didn't move. Did Renoa die? No. Forgive me, Squall. I don't think I can be of any help. It's alright. Squall, I understand how you feel, but you're in a position of leadership. The other students in Garden have a right to know about the outcome of the battle and what's to come. Take whatever information you can get here back to Garden. Remember, it wasn't just for Noah. Everyone fought. I understand, but... But, 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 that isn't something a leader should say. Damn it. Artemisia's objective is to find a loan. First time we met was the day I became a seed. We met again in Timber. Alone's mysterious power sending one's consciousness back into the past. So Artemisia wants to use Alone's power, right? We had a lot of arguments at first, but in time things began to change. I get it. Artemisia wants to send her consciousness from this period further into the past. What's she going to do in the past? You were looking at me. You smiled when our eyes met. Time compression. The squall wasn't even listening. It made me feel calm, tranquil. Time compression? It's time magic. Past, present, and future get compressed. What's going to happen to the world? Why do something like that? Renoa, give me another chance. I can't even imagine a world where time is compressed. Yo, squall! You're not even listening. So. Okay, I guess he was. So basically, all we had to do was prevent Artemisia from getting a hold of a loan. Yes, but we're going back to Garden. We had to let everyone know. Hey, we're worried about Renoa too, you know. Then why don't you... Forget it.
So while Adia was being possessed by Artemisia, she was able to see into Artemisia's mind, I'm guessing. She saw how Artemisia felt, and she saw what Artemisia wanted. That about covers the update. Our task at hand is to find Alone. Then we'll deal with Artemisia. I believe that Alone is on the White Seed ship. We're setting out to look for it. I wonder where it could be. We'll gather information for a while. Be prepared for battle at any time. And Sorceress Adia is back at her home. She's probably not our enemy anymore. Let's just leave her alone. Is Renoa in the infirmary? I'll go visit her later. I don't want to say this in front of Quistus and you, but I don't know if some people will be so forgiving. I wonder what all there is to do here. talking to a few people, see what they had to say now that all the fighting is over. Like these two. I was a little sketchy back there. Wait, it was a little sketchy back there, but we made it. What's wrong, boss? We won! Let's celebrate! I can just picture, picture Instructor Trippy fighting for you. Oh. Right, you guys always do the same thing. Hey, I did it! We fought against the Garbadia and won. Why did you say I did it? We won! Garbadia wasn't as strong as I thought. Alright, let's move on. There's a shit ton of story stuff we had to get through if we want to get Renoa back. I'm gonna go back into Dia's house. See if anything else happens. I guess Sid's gonna hang out here now, too. I'll be staying here with Sid for a while. Should Artemisia possess me again, I ask for your help, young Seeds. I believe Alone is traveling all over the world in the ship. Even if Artemisia decides to choose her again, it will be very difficult to find her. I can't go down to the beach, can I? No, it's blocked off by rubble. Okay. Um. Alright, it looks like, according to my notes, Adia actually has a card that I can win from her. So let's save the game and play her for it. Hopefully that she doesn't use shitty rules. Oh, I can go this way. 
There's a big field of flowers. Does this look familiar at all? Because it's the same field of flowers from the opening FMV. Hi, Matron. I'm here to play cards. The rules unfamiliar to this region. Balam's rules and ours. Uh, Matron, you appear to be stuck in a walk cycle. Yeah, I just saved, so... I don't know if I want to mix rules yet. I'm gonna say no. I want to see what your normal rules are. Random, same and plus and trade for one. Okay. Gotta quit. And then I'm gonna boot it back up and we're gonna try and find out how to abolish random from her. All they do is add open. Well, that spreads the open rule, but I don't want that. find the right RNG combination. Okay, so last time I said yes twice and it spread open. So this one I'm going to say no and then say yes and quit and then keep going from there. That just spreads open. The mouse saying no twice. I'm gonna say yes, quit. doesn't work either. I don't know, I asked myself the same thing when I did my first FF8 stream. I'm guessing it's because of the train sequence. Okay, now I say no three times. And 
then yes. And it spreads the open rule immediately. You know what? Fine. Alright, let me try something. No, we are not going to use Sentra's rules. save first. She uses Sentra's rules. So, maybe I can abolish random more easily at Trabia Garden. Yeah, because I'm not carrying any unique rules anymore, so she's not going to offer to merge them. You know what? I just saved. Let's give it a shot. And there it is already. The idea card. At least the rest of her cards all suck. Might be able to beat her. Alright, um, start by sacrificing the Gesper. Yeah, I figured you'd play that immediately. Alright, you don't have anything that can take this. Let's take a deer. I win! Okay. Got what I wanted. Alright. Whatever. Lucky me. Okay, so... Four A's? No. That'd be too broken. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the White Seed ship is hiding around these islands somewhere.
I think it's just because Tetra Master was never as popular as Triple Triad. That might be the only reason. Triple Triad has gotten some fan-made printouts, yes. I mean, I thought you knew that. I thought that's why you were asking specifically about why Tetra Master never got a real card game. Official stuff? Not that I know of. Maybe these guys can give me a clue. No, I can't talk to Sophie or Zell. I hit a button and now my camera is acting up. The camera isn't automatically turning anymore, for some reason. It's locked in place. Select is nothing. Oh, start. Start is the toggle. That's weird. forget how to find the white seed ship. It's 
not there. I could have sworn it was in this little maze over here. Hmm, wait. Maybe I have to go see Renoa in the infirmary. Maybe the, sh the ship won't appear until a certain story sequence has occurred. I mean, I was told that Alone was on the White Sea ship. Have you checked to see if anyone's already done that? Oh, yeah, okay. I was supposed to do this. Renoa, you feel so cold. Are you going to be like this forever? Isn't there anything I can do? You were so full of life. Now you don't even make a sound. I want to hear your voice. This is like talking to a wall. Renoa, call my name. Oh. This is where the Laguna stuff happens? I thought it happened a little later. Okay. Everyone's junctions were taken off. What's the... Hmm. Why the heck do I have to do this? Because we have no money? Alright, I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's kind of my fault that we sit at the hotel so often. But heck, I'm not cut out to be an actor. So you say, but we know you're really quite excited. Okay, everyone, take your positions. Man, I can't believe this director making a movie with me, an amateur. The heck am I supposed to do? Alright, alright. So we were lucky I got the job. As long as we make some money, right? Uh, are you serious? What kind of costume is this? Uh, 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 no complaining. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep, so I'm just up like a knight. Hey, look at you. Not bad. And is that the Queen of Cards? This is your co-star playing the part of the sorceress. Hi, nice to meet you. Already now is someone to play the dragon. Oh, perfect. Hey, you back there. Yes? I'm kinda in a squeeze here. The guy playing the dragon is sick. Do you think you could just put on the dragon costume and kinda just walk down here? I'll pay ya. I guess so. Okay, just be on standby over there. Huh? Ah! Okay, people, here we go. Scene 12, Death of the Sorceress. Ready? Action! Oh, Sir Knight, save me from the wicked dragon! Oh, uh, okay. I'll, I'll save you from the dragon. Darn it. I'm getting all nervous here. And what's with this gum blade? Haven't used one of these since training. Kinda like this? Hey, not bad. I'll just put in some voiceovers. Okay, bring on the dragon. 
Hey, come on guys, the dragon. All right, here we go. Wow, just like the real thing. Excellent work, Kyros. Wait a minute, was the costume that big? Whoa, Kyros is taking this seriously. Man, looks like the real thing. Uh, also, notice the way he's wielding the gunblade? Uh, he's wielding it just like Cypher does. Jeez, take it easy, Kyros. What the... Is this thing real? What? No wonder. What am I doing? I'm getting out of here. Well, Sir Knight, it's all yours. Sir Knight, I must bid you farewell. Uh, hey, don't just leave me here. She's like, fuck that. I'm not cut out to be an actress. I'm just gonna go govern a children's card game. Tch, it's not gonna let me go. Hmm. The Gunblade. Alright, let's go. I want one of these again. This is much easier than the one Squall was doing. Just take your time. Attack when the dragon doesn't do anything. When you see him, we are back. Defend. Oh, I defended. Come on. Oh well. I got this in the bag. I win. Easy. Now's my chance. Run! It's not going to give me the chance to junction Kyros, is it? Darn, stupid dragon. Where the heck is Kyros? Laguna, did you call me? Yeah. Wait long enough? Here. Alright, time to kick some dragon butt. Hold on a sec. Yes, thank you. This Kiro says nothing. I'm just gonna give you all of the other GFs. Focus on attack. We're not going to get any levels from this battle, so no point in putting these on. Yeah, but let's see if that actually works. Ah! Ah! In the past, you can only access shops that they've been to. Okay, that makes sense. But they also have no money, just like Kiro said. So I can't buy anything anyway. Can I sell things? I can sell things to get money, can't I? Oh well, I don't need to buy anything right now anyway. I was just gonna replenish my potions. Trebia Canyon. So this takes place near Trebia Garden, huh? Can I actually come here? In the present? <laughs> 
Stone and Chrono Fang. Well, that was fast. Now I just gotta kill it. I'm gonna summon Cerberus, just to show off the animation. Its effect isn't really going to do me any good, but might as well summon it once. Alright, here it comes. Counter Rockets. Double and triple. Yeah, so... Now if I choose, I can use the double or use the triple. Just triple cast, like, I don't know. Thundara. Not that it would do much damage at all. Yeah, but that's how triple works. I could be mistaken, but I think now that I've used triple, now it's still available. Maybe the double status just lasts longer. Maybe you can only use it a certain number of times. Does it actually count as a status though? There's the spell. Do I not have the spell on this character? Can't pass up this opportunity. You're still not dead? I don't even have the magic command. Oh well. You have a shit ton of health. Oh, there we go. He did? How many are there? They just keep coming. We're out of here. What is that? So he looks out in the distance and he sees this huge glowing thing that appears to just be floating off the ground. And remember, they're in the Centra continent right now. They're around Trebia. So there's an enormous big black box like thing. I can't disconnect. Sorry, that's a girl talking. I can't disconnect. What is this connect thing? Is it you, Squall? Yeah. Connect is just what I call it. It's when I use my special power. Oh, I know. I must be asleep. That's why I can't control it. I'm sorry, Squall. Just let me use your spirit for a little while longer. Let me go back. She ain't here either. 
if I may ask, what happened to this alone? She was kidnapped by Esther's soldiers. I've been traveling, trying all I can to get inside Esther, but... They were looking for a successor for the Esther sorceress Adel? Yeah, yeah, exactly it. Is she your daughter? No, but she's just so cute. Oh, I wish I could hear her voice. I want to hear a Noah's voice. Is something the matter? No, just the fairies. Yeah, he can still hear a squall from the future. I don't care if it's in the past or what. I want to hear of a Noah. I want to see of a Noah. That way there might be a chance to save her. You can't change the past. I just found that out. When I was kidnapped, Uncle Laguna went on a journey to find me. But because he did, Uncle Laguna wasn't able to be by Rain's side when she died. Rain wanted to show Laguna her newborn baby. Rain kept calling out for Laguna, so no matter what, I wanted Laguna to stay in the village. Ah, so that's a... That's something that they just gotta skim over right there. That Rain had a baby. And if Rain died, and Laguna wasn't there, what happened to the baby? But it didn't work. I could no longer make it back to that moment. And also, I can only send you inside someone I've met before. I'm sorry, Squall. I'm about to disconnect. I'll try again to speak to you this way. Sis, alone. I'm... I want to hear a Noah's voice. I can see you if we go back in time. Maybe even change things. Alone. Alone, can you hear me? Send me back to the moment when Noah went into a coma. Alone, you won't answer me? I know she's on the White Seed ship. White Seed. A Dia's Seed. A Dia's Seed? Maybe a Dia would know the whereabouts of the ship. Then I can see alone. Then maybe I can go back. Okay, there we go. So a lot of things to talk about with that flashback. So. You recall... Someone saying that... Scythe... Like, there was this movie that everybody was talking about, right? This movie... That was made a long time ago. About a sorceress and her knight. I think they talked about it in the library, actually. Well, it was very popular when it first came out. And since it starred Laguna... Oh. Let me, let me put it this way. Cyphers loved that movie, too. So much so... That he kind of built his entire life around it. He started running a gunblade, wielding it the same way the character in the movie did. Who, by the way, uh, Laguna's character is Sir Zephyr. I don't know if that's said anywhere. Probably in the information section. But also, like the character, he wanted to be a sorceress's knight. That is how he came up with his romantic dream. That's his childhood dream. And it's all... Thanks to Laguna. Let's see. Time compression. A complete mystery. Various states of present are believed to become compressed. Sorceress's power from many generations may cross over to give one sorceress great strength. No one knows what effect this may have on regular human beings. That's all really vague. But anyway, I'm gonna go over and read all of that stuff later. No mention of Zephyr.
If there's a book you're looking for, please let one of the library committee know. We'll be happy to help you. Hey, it's you again. Aren't there three of you on the library committee? Well, since the three of us are so close, we're pretty flexible with our schedules. Is the girl with the pigtail off today? Yes, she is. Can I help you? Nah, that's okay. Thanks. I'm trying to steal Zell's girl. It's not gonna work. What do you think? Do you think that maybe he likes her? Maybe, but who cares? We know she likes someone else, so we had to back her up. I heard there's a weird book somewhere in the library. I wonder what kind of book it is. Is it the occult magazine I already got? Probably. I just can't get my stuff to study these days. I only seem to hang out here. Alright, I'm going to read this whole entire series. I could have sworn there was someone in the library who talked about that movie. No, yeah, oh well. Okay, so now I can go looking for the White Seed ship. Well, actually, no. No, I can't. Gotta do what the game tells me to. Next, I have to go talk to Adia. Where could the White Seed ship be? Okay, now I need to undo everyone's junctions. Now, where is the orphanage again? There it is, right here. Not everyone's, just Zell's. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. doesn't have anything to junction HP with. Let me take a GF off of you. Getsuquato should have HP. There we go. Strength bonus. Strength bonus. Oh well, I can give her this though. And I need this. So that should be good.
Is there anything at all I can help you with? The white seed ship. The one alone's on. Those children are... They are very cautious. They would never remain in one place for long. I see. Oh yes, however... Those children seem to have taken a liking to Sentra's landscape. Therefore, they may have stationed their ship by an inlet somewhere on the Sentra continent. And Squall, please take with you this letter that I wrote. With this, they shall welcome you. The White Seeds may have stationed their ship. Okay. I think it's possible to sell Adia's letter and keep getting more from her. The White Seed ship. Okay, good night, Tyler. We first came up with it to protect the loan from Estar. Adia served as the captain of the ship, but before long, many children were brought on board and it became somewhat of an orphanage. Adia taught the children well, and they too were referred to as seeds. So it's like a mobile garden slash orphanage. Of course, the gardens are already mobile, but this one was already such upon its inception. Well, I suppose the gardens were too, and everyone just forgot about it. Okay, so. Now, the seed ship should be somewhere. Somewhere around here. Up oh, there it is. See how much easier that was now that it's actually there. We meet again. My name is Squall. We're seeds from Balam Garden. I'd like to speak to your leader. I'm in charge. State your business. Depending on what you say, we may ask you to leave immediately. I want to see alone. Hmm? We pose no threat. Adia told us that you would be here. Adia? How? Adia is no longer under Sorceress Artemisia's control. She is now our ally. So there's no reason for you to hide Alone's whereabouts from us. We want to take Alone back to protect her from Artemisia. Thank you for coming. But we have no reason to believe you. Please leave. You heard our leader. There's nothing more to discuss. I don't talk to strangers. The leader said that, um, we shouldn't talk to strangers. Please, there's nothing I can tell you. I'm sorry. Hey, come here, you. I'm trying to talk to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. G -g cool. I g -g got to talk to a s stranger. Wow, how isolated are you? Jeez. Wow, long time no see, sir. What the hell are you doing here? Whoa, look who's here. Squall, how's it going? Can't believe you're here. Everybody doing good, sir? After you guys left, the Galbadian buttheads came after us and we barely escaped with this boat. I was sure we were goners, sir. Zone went nuts and was thinking about swimming across the ocean to escape. Hey, it was a plan. All you were doing was whining like a big baby. We're gonna die, we're gonna die, and look who jumped in first. You, you numb nuts. I don't see how these wackos keep surviving. So, how's Renoa? Where is she? Renoa fought with us against Adia. For some reason, she went unconscious after the fight. She's resting in the garden now. I don't know what happened. We couldn't protect her. I'm... I'm sorry. You son of a bitch! What did I say? What did I say, huh? I told you to take care of her. 
that nothing better happen to her, scumbag. You pathetic lion scumbag. So, come on. Easy, sir. Easy. She's not dead. They just don't know what's wrong with her, that's all. Ain't that right, sir? Squall would never give up on her. Am I right, sir? We came here to get alone because of the new evil force after her. If we can get alone and Renoa together, maybe we can get Renoa back. Really? Sea Zone? I told you. Sea Zone? I told you, sir. Renoa's gonna be fine. She promised she would come back. We all had to free Timber together. Don't worry, sir. Alright. But I'm gonna say it one more time. If something happens to Renoa again, I swear. Care for information, sir? About this ship. Well, after this lady named Adia left, there haven't been any adults on this ship, sir. Uh, okay, so... So what probably happened is... This is where Adia has been. Ever since the orphanage, the, the one on land, was abandoned, up until she became possessed by Artemisia and joined Galbadia, this is where she was. Okay. So far, I've only seen kids and guys our age. Let's see about alone. Is alone here? Oh, you mean that pretty girl, sir? She left when some other ships came. What other ships? Who were they? There were some soldiers in the ships. I know I've seen them before. Esther! They were Esther soldiers, sir. Why Esther? What do they want with alone? I don't know, sir, but I think she was smiling as she left. What the heck's going on? Damn it. About the leader. The leader is usually in the cabin below deck, sir. Oh, I'm gonna go up this way first. Why don't you try talking to our leader again? Let's see. Here it is. The last issue of Timber Maniacs. And I got an achievement. It's kind of cool to watch the sea. You hardly ever get bored of it. I learned how to pilot the ship. A little. It's tough. With trains, you just have to worry about staying on the track. But with ships, oh man. You gotta worry about the entire sea. Hey! That's... The go next door. How'd you get it? Hey man, uh, listen. Um, I was wondering if you can give it to me. Give it to him for free. Serious? Oh man, thanks. You're awesome. Here, I want you to have this. Received rename card and the Shiva card. Thanks again for the book. Yeah, and that's how you get Shiva. You don't have to win it, you just have to trade him the magazine. <laughs> well, it's getting dark already. It's getting too cold to sit out here these days. I love sunshine. It feels good. Watch told me sunshine is good for you. Did I talk to you about the leader? I think I did. All right, below deck we go. Here. This is Matron's writing. She really gave this to you? You guys call her Matron too, huh? Yes, ever since we were little. We were raised by Adia too. It was difficult to fight against her, but we did. Fortunately, everything turned out well. Adia is no longer evil. She's back to her old self again, the kind matron we remember. Squall, thank you. We owe you and Balam Garden much. Even our salute is the same. Matron told us it hasn't changed since Seed was established. How'd she come up with the salute? Another mystery. Come on. 
holy. And no one can draw it, because everyone's full on crap magic. How do I toss magic? Can I toss magic? How about this? Let's go to a character that is a reserve character and have him Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. God damn it. No, no, no. Go to exchange. And then... Give all of these regular waters to... No, I know, he's using those. Give this one random thunder... To Irvine. Okay, now he's got a spot. Pretty sure there's a way to discard magic, I just can't remember how. So it says in the letter, you're looking for a loan. I'm sorry, a loan's no longer here. Remember we picked her up from your garden near the FH coast? After that, we headed east to get away as far as we could from Medea and Galbadia. Before long, we encountered the Galbadian fleet. They had a lot of ships. Obviously, they were searching for us. We should have been more careful. They pursued us in full force. Luckily, we were able to escape, but then our ship broke down and we were stranded. There was no way we were going to let the Galbadians take a loan. Eventually, the Galbadians caught up to us and we had no choice but to prepare for battle. Then an Esthar ship appeared. A battle began between them, and we were caught in the middle of it. Then something strange happened. Suddenly an Esthar ship came up beside us and Esthar soldiers came aboard. They told us to get aboard their ship. It sounded like an order to evacuate. Of course, we refused. We didn't trust them just as we didn't trust the Galbadians. As the Esther soldiers were trying to convince us, the battle became more intense. Soon they were forced to leave our ship. As their ship was pulling away, Alone yelled out something. Then, all of a sudden, she jumped onto their ship. It wasn't like her at all. To this day, I don't understand why she did that. After that, Esther's fleet withdrew from battle and fled. After they left, we... Well, it's a long story. After our ship is fully prepared, we plan to go to Esther. Sorry, Squall. We couldn't protect her. So alone's in Esther? We believe so. Have you decided on our destination? Esther. Oh man. Xenophobic Esther. That area's terrain is not really suited for flying the garden. 
Anyway, set a course for Estar. The Estar continent is surrounded by a huge mountain range. It's literally hidden away by the mountains. There isn't much contact with the outside world. That's why they're called the Silent Country. Can't believe we're going to Estar. Those soldiers give me the creeps. Are we ready to go? Roger. Okay, let's see. I feel like I've made quite a bit of progress. But now I have to figure out a way to reach Estar. And like they said, it's impossible to reach with the garden alone. So what we had to do is we actually have to go back to a place we heard leads to Estar. Fisherman's Horizon. But first I gotta get up on the shore over here and hop on over to the other side of the bridge. Let's go, Anoa. Let's go meet alone. Alone will bring us together. Sorry, everyone. I can't go on like this. It's a bit far, but we'll make it. So he's going to walk all the way to Estar by himself, carrying Renoa on his back. That's how obsessed with her he's become. It's pretty far. Didn't think it would be this far. What am I doing? Go to Estar, find Alone, talk to Alone. But there's no guarantee that everything will be resolved if I talk to Alone. Even so, I'm. I sure have changed. I wonder what everyone's doing. They're probably laughing at me. Or maybe they're angry? What do you think? To tell you the truth, I worry too much about what others think of me. I hate that side of me. That's why I didn't want anyone to get to know me. I wanted to hide that side of myself. I hate it. Squall was an unfriendly, introverted guy. It made it easy for me when people perceived me that way. That's a secret between you and me. Got that? So I don't suppose you noticed that light up in the sky. That wasn't a star. I believe it was a satellite. Squall, you're late. 
How did you guys get here before me? Is the princess still asleep? She might wake up with a kiss from the prince. Is that why you came all the way out here? To tell me that? You're going to Estor, right? We're coming too. We're Adia's escort. And Adia's here. Let us be on our way, Squall. And... Oh, I guess I'm not going to show it just yet. Okay. We're Adia's escort, okay? We're all planning to go to Estor too. We shall leave as soon as we're ready. What business do you have in Estor? I must go see Dr. Odine. Dr. Odine. You've heard the name, right? Yes, we have. He's the one who invented that little trinket that Renoa was trying to give Adia at the end of Disc 1. I can't remember. Tell me more. You know the famous Odine brand, don't you? That's all Dr. Odine's work. When it comes to knowledge about the sorceress, he's number one. Thanks. So why do you need to see this, Doctor? Sorceress Artemisia is alive. She is able to take control of my body at any time. If that were to happen, I would once again bring terror. I too value my well-being. I want to protect myself. If it were possible, I would like to rid myself of the sorceress's power. Dr. Rodine may know a way. He may be able to save me. I understand. Let's all go to Esther. Yo, they're back. The two of them went to take a look. How's it going, Squall? Is Vanoa still asleep? Vanoa is so cute when she's asleep. Whatever. So how is it? Can we make it to Estar? Woo! Are you blushing? Selfie, don't make Squall angry. Esther is on this continent, right? It's supposed to be huge. I don't know why, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Couldn't find it up north or down south. Let's try going east next. Adia's a party member. Not a permanent one. So don't get your hopes up. I'm surprised she's even optional for this part. I don't have to put her in my party if I don't want to. And she's a pretty low level too. But I at least want her in my party until I can show off her limit break. Because she does have one. Gotta look at Adia's run cycle. Looks so awkward. Does she even have feet? On her model? Ooh, that's not looking good. What's all that over there? Is that supposed to look like that? Um, something tells me it's not. Uh, anyway. It's already half past midnight, and I do have to get up to go out with Tyler tomorrow, so I'm going to end this here. I got some other things I want to do before I go to bed. Nope, let me just save a second time. I got a lot done. And I'm glad. I'm glad that I actually managed to get a lot done, considering how long it's been since the last episode. Hopefully this won't take too long to finish, because I would like to finish this soon, so that I can actually focus on the other things that I'm working on. I'm probably not going to start any new series anytime soon. At least not until I've finished Final Fantasy VIII. So, we'll just see what happens. So, see you all next time.